Okay, uh, today I want to discuss your test 1. Okay, before PKP. Yeah. Okay, refer to your question paper. Then do make correction. Okay, number 1. What is the image which is produced by converging lens on the screen? So you can see the word here. On the screen, meaning able to be projected on the screen. So image must be real. Can form on the screen, we call it virtual. So this one we know that the answer is either A or B. But normally when it is real, it always inverted. Okay, so answer A for number one is A. Okay, number two, what is the concept used in optical fiber? So this one you must know. Total internal reflection. Okay, number three. Okay, convex lens. Which of the following optical instrument produces image that have uh, that has same characteristic of image form in diagram one? So you can see here, image is virtual because same side as the object. So image is virtual, upright, and magnified. So this uh, type of uh, or distance of object, it will produce image same as magnifying glass B. Okay. For well, number four, diagram shows the object is placed at distance 20 cm from convex lens. So here, object from convex, so this one is U, or we call it object distance. From the center to, of the lens to the focal point, this is focal length. Okay. And then from the lens to the image, this one is image distance okay so the relationship between u v and f is given by lens equation 1 over f equals 1 over u plus 1 over v so from here we have u equals 20 f equals to 15 okay so you want to find 1 over v yeah? so 1 over v equals 1 over f minus 1 over u so 1 over 15 minus 1 over 20 Okay, so here we get 1 over 60. Thus, we can say V equals to 60 cm. So image distance is 60 cm. So answer is D donkey. Okay. Question number 5. Object placed at distance U from convex lens, focal point F. Image distance is presented by V. So same thing. Eh? Actually, this one is based on the lens equation also. So 1 over F equals 1 over U plus 1 over V. Okay. So if you rearrange the formula, so you will get this is 1 over V against 1 over U. So we have 1 over V equals negative 1 over U plus 1 over F. So you see this is the y axis and this one is actually can write as negative 1, 1 over u plus 1 over f. Okay, so, so we can say this is the gradient, this is x and this is c. Okay, so the intercept here is 1 over f, here is also 1 over f. Thus, we get m equals negative 1. Okay? So, actually, the lens equation is represented by this graph. Okay? So, by, by using this graph, you will get lens equation. Okay? Number 6. So, you can see wave produced by vibrator here. So, the wave will travel from deep region to shallower region and shallow region so there is a change in depth so remember for the speed of wave for water wave it depends on depth the greater the depth the higher the velocity and the wavelength is directly proportional to speed so meaning in deeper region wavelength is longer in shallower region the wavelength is shorter so you can see from here this is the longest wavelength okay followed by this one and the shortest one is this one. 
Okay, so when you draw lambda, lambda is distance between two consecutive wave fronts. You can see this line or we call it wave front. Okay, so deeper region, the longest wavelength. Which one shows the longest one at the right side? So you can look at either A or B. C and D is out already, yeah. So from here, you can see uh, at shallower region, it becomes the shortest wavelength. So A cannot be the answer. So should be B. Okay, if we put here is A, region A, region B and region C. So meaning here is for region A and this one is for region B and this one is for region C. Okay, answer is B. Okay, number seven, the button's pendulum. Investigate natural frequency yeah, of a simple pendulum. Observe that when pendulum X oscillate, C oscillate is largest amplitude. This is due to, so you can see X and C here, same length. Yeah? Same length. So when same length means they have same natural frequency. So once you displace X to oscillate, C will receive huh, energy at force frequency equals to natural frequency. So resonance huh, will occur. When resonance occur, C will oscillate at largest amplitude. So we call it phenomenon resonance. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. Diagram shows a displacement distance graph of transverse wave. Okay. If the source of wave produce five complete waves in one second, calculate speed. What is the meaning of this? Number of complete wave in one second, this is frequency. So meaning frequency of the wave equals to 5 hertz. So F equals to 5 hertz. From the graph, we can determine what is the wavelength. Okay, so here a quarter of wave. So here, how many waves we have? Okay, one crest, one trough is one wave. So here we have uh, one plus, it's not half, half plus one quarter. Three quarter, three quarter of wave. Okay, so one three quarter of wave equals to 28. Okay. So 5, 8 over 4 lambda equals to 28. Okay, it's 2 lambda. Is it 2 lambda? No. 4 is 7, sorry. 7. Okay, 7 over 4 equals to 28. So there will be a cancellation. Okay, 1 and 4. So lambda equals to 16 cm. Okay. So V equals to F lambda. So 5 times 16. So we get 80 cm second negative 1. Okay. Uh, so this one you must understand the concept. So to calculate wave, 1 crest and 1 trough, we count as 1 lambda. From here to here is 1 lambda. Okay. And this one is half lambda. And this small part is a quarter of lambda. Or the whole thing here is three quarter of lambda. So the total is seven over four lambda. Okay, so be careful with this one. Number nine. So answer should be C, this one. Here, okay, number nine. Uh, travel from X to Y. Okay. The speed of water wave 15 with the speed of uh, water wave in Y. Okay. So here given, so uh, 9, eh? distance between two consecutive wave front, this is lambda. So you can put as lambda 1 and here is lambda 2. So from the diagram here, X, you get lambda 1. Lambda 1 equals to how many lambda? 1, 2, 3. Yeah? So 9 divided by 3. So you get 3 cm. For lambda 2, how many lambda we have here? Also 3. Yeah? So lambda 2 is 15 divided by 3. So 5 cm. 
okay so from the relationship that v directly proportional to wavelength so we have v1 over lambda 1 equals to v2 over lambda 2 okay so v1 is just now given is 15 okay in x actually it's in x so 15 divided by lambda 1 3 equals v2 um, you want to find v2 so divide by 5 okay so from here we get what okay so you can calculate this one you will get let's say it's d donkey is it correct Okay, from here the donkey yeah? so there will be cancellation from here 5 so v2 is 25 okay okay number 10 number 10 this one amplitude 3 cm frequency 10 hertz okay oscillate same way in vacuum so in vacuum no damping there will be no change in amplitude and of course frequency also is unchanged so the graph should be the same okay no change in amplitude and no change in frequency okay number 11 refractive index 1.23 what is angle of refraction r okay given angle here 28 this is incident ray this is normal line normal line is 90 degrees to the boundary this line that separate eh, air and water we call it boundary so this angle equals to angle of incidence that is 62 degrees okay so use the formula sin i over sin r this is n r equals to uh, sin i eh? i is angle in air so sin 62 divided by sin r so this one equals to 1.33 so you solve for r you will get the answer answer is equals to 42 okay use calculator to calculate Okay, number 12 this angle 25 so meaning angle of incident here is uh, 65 okay what is critical angle so there are two formula that you need to use for this one n equals sin i over sin r and n equals 1 over sin c so sin i sine 65 over sine 35 equals to 1 over sine c so you solve this part find c c is critical angle okay, no, no. okay critical angle so you get 39 what is focal length or convex length of power 2.5 positive power so p equals 1 over f use this formula f must be in meter so f equals 1 over p so 1 over 2.5 equals 0 0.4 meter so f equals 40 cm and so is p number 14 given the refractive index it's not reflective it's a re Refractive, huh? refractive index 1.5 so for this case you want to know which direction the, the refraction huh, of light occurs so you need to find a critical angle first huh? n equals to 1 over sine c equals 1.5 so you find c c is about 41.8 so 42 so from here this is uh, 90 degrees huh, to the boundary this is air this is class so uh, incident here this is normal line so this is angle of incident remember this one prism 45 degrees here 45 90 so here also 45 so if here is 45 90 here 45 meaning here is 45 so angle i equals to 45 degrees now you compare with c meaning greater than c 
greater than critical angle and the ray is traveling from denser to less dense so meaning total internal reflection TIR huh? total internal reflection Okay, total internal reflection occur. So when total internal reflection obey law of reflection, angle I 45, angle R also 45. Okay, so here 45. Okay, so reach this boundary. So you draw normal line again. Here also is 45. Okay. So it will be reflected again, total internal reflection. So here is 45. And come out here, 90 degrees. Okay, so you get A, the answer. For number 15, light refracted by medium P. Okay, refractive index, what is refractive, refractive index? So remember angle of incident is this one. So this is angle I, eh? 45. Angle of refraction here is 90, so 1 to 2 uh, minus 90, so here is 32. So refractive index N equals, okay, here, okay, angle of incident 45, angle of refraction 1 to 2 minus 90, so 35, huh? uh, sorry, 32. So sine 45 divided by sine 32. It's quite easy to determine which one is I, R. Huh? The bigger one will be I. Okay, because we always take angle in air huh? as angle I. So you calculate this one, you will get answer is D donkey. 1.33. Okay, number 16. Speed of light in vacuum. This is C. Traveling inside medium. Refractive index 1.78. So, formula N equals C divided by B. Okay. Speed of light in vacuum or air divided by speed of light in vacuum. So, this one you get 3 times 10 power 8 divided by B equals 1.78. So, B equals, okay, number 16. We will get the answer is B. Okay, number 17. So, reflection of to the mirror this one angle given 50 total angle here because this is normal line is 90 so meaning here is 40 reflection angle i equals to angle r here also 40 okay this is uh you can look at here angle a straight line total is 180 so 50 90 130 meaning here is 50 okay here 50 for this triangle 120 so here is 10 this is normal line so total angle here 70 if here is 70 meaning here is 70 okay so we get angles theta is 70 number 18 distance between two points represent wavelength Okay, wavelength uh, defined as lambda distance between two consecutive wavefront or crest. So this one is the first crest. This is the next crest. The broken line is trough. So meaning distance between P and Q. This one will be lambda. Okay, so answer is P, P R C. Okay, number 19, 19 uh, reflection plane reflector. So reflection of the law of reflection. So angle I equals to angle R. Which one is not true? Okay. This one is true. I equals to R. Direction change. Yes. Speed same. Yes. Frequency change. No. Okay. Answer is D. Okay, number 20, spherical dipper used to produce wave on the water surface, so different in depth, not constant the depth. Okay, so spherical dipper produce circular wave. So you can see for the shallow part, this is A and this is B. For shallow part, the wavelength is shorter. So for this part, 
you can see distance between two consecutive wave front become smaller and then from A to B increases okay meaning the longest one is this part the deepest part so answer should be B okay so that's all for the section A